Hello fish keepers, and other people want to learn more about the aquarium hobby. Welcome to Aquarium Thoughts, and I'm Dave. Uh, anyways, I want to uh, apologize for the lack of updates recently. It's been a few weeks now. Uh, I've just been busy doing other things. I've been busy on my aquarium stand. i uh, also been busy uh, doing some investing uh, and saving some money for the future, which is something people should be doing, um, which I decided to start doing. I actually uh, found a nice site called M1 Finance, which is nice. Um, you could feel free to check that out. I will put a link down below. Uh, it is a little re referral link too, so I will get something hopefully for that. Uh, but that is not really aquarium related, although you could do invest and maybe make some money to get more aquarium stuff. But anyways, more onto the aquarium updates here. Um, uh, basically, like I said, I've been working on my aquarium stand. I've also uh, started some other things, but I'm going to give you a few updates on uh, the aquarium stand and some other things I've been doing. Uh, hold on, and I will be right back. Okay, I am back, and as you're seeing, I'm on my back porch, uh, and this is the aquarium stand I have started on. Uh, it's still a work in progress. As you can see, it's not completely finished. Uh, I got basically the frame finished, and I'm still going to fill it in with some uh, other wood that I still need to uh, attach. Uh, so far, right now, it is pretty sturdy. Uh, it's a little uneven just because the uh, back porch is uneven. Um, hopefully, it comes out nice and even when I put it inside. It seems to be pretty level right now, so it should be fine. Uh, that is the start of my aquarium stand. Um, I would also like suggestions on how I want to paint it. Um, I might paint it black, although I, I might just go with a wood stain. Uh, if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. But that is my progress on my aquarium stand, and I still have that wood to put in here some, at, at some place. Uh, any, anyways, I'm going to move over here. As you can see, some more wood and some of the tools I used for doing the aquarium stand. Uh, and right here I have uh, three buckets. Um, basically this is my Daphnia cultures I started. Um, I bought some Daphnia from uh, Sergeant Tank and I am starting my own culture that way I could feed my fish some more live foods. Uh, so basically what I have here is I first started with these Home Depot buckets, these orange five gallon buckets. Uh, they worked okay. Uh, one thing I noticed it was hard to get see actually see the Daphnia swimming in there so I went with some suggestions I found online and went with these white buckets uh, these are actually 10 gallon buckets I actually um, got from Amazon uh, as you can see on this this right here is some light diffuser which sock which I'm using to keep uh, debris from getting in there as well as mosquitoes from breeding in there uh, we have a huge mosquito problem out here right now, and I don't want to contribute to that. So I have these covering to prevent that, as well as debris from getting in this. Uh, this is my old one. And yeah, this is my uh, first one I started. But anyways, I'm going to open up this, remove the light socket right there. And as you can see, I do have a couple of mystery snails in here, as well as some other snails. And let's see if I can see any of the Daphnia swimming around in here. Uh, they you could probably hopefully see that it is a few of the Daphnia that you can see moving around in there uh, from the Daphnia cultures a few more in there and there's one of the mystery snails right there a little out of focus let's see if I can focus this guy in and it looks like that's not gonna happen but and as you can see I do have some floating plants in there and and the water is nice and green so there's that and this is the, the one I just actually uh, moved the orange buckets into this one so it looks like it's settled down nicely and let's see if I can find any of the Daphnia in here. Oh, there's a few right there. Let's see if I can focus it in a little bit. But there you go. You can see them moving around, swimming around nicely. So that is my new Daphnia cultures I have started. Uh, nice green water to feed the uh, Daphnia. And hopefully I get a good experience with this. That way I could actually have another live food for my fish to eat. So pretty much that is has been my updates. I will put links to the white buckets I got from Amazon as well as the light diffuser socks I used to cover them. Uh, seems to work great. Uh, shouldn't have any issues with oxygen exchange. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's enough for the oxygen to get through on these socks. Um, if you really feel that you need more oxygen I'm sure you can poke some small holes in them as well. 
primarily the socks are just to cover from getting debris in there, as well as from other things that you like pests and insects that you don't want into the water. Um, so there's that. Anyways, I am going to end that here. Uh, anyways, check out those links. Check out M1 Finance, which I feel is a great site to do if you want to invest in stocks. Um, it's always good to invest money uh, for the future, especially. Um, not just stocks, but maybe bonds, savings accounts, and whatnot. Um, but anyways, there's that. And I will end this here. Anyways, have a good day, night, and or whenever you're watching this. Thanks. Bye.